Hi, sir. Here, yeah, I'm Officer James Frederick PD. What's your name? Nice to meet you. So we're just waiting for our sergeant to come over, and we'd like to go through your house. Are you okay with yeah. us searching through your house? All right. Um, we'll have you sign a consent form. We just want to see if you left a note or anything in, okay. inconspicuous, something like that. All right. Um, so uh, if you're good with that, we'll have you sign a consent form okay. allowing us to search your house, and okay. uh, we'll wait for our sergeant to get here. But okay. we'll grab that. You don't plan on going any, anywhere, right? No, I was just going to walk around the neighborhood just to uh, clear my head. Which company do you work for? Anadarko. Anadarko. What do you do for them? Operator. So you work like seven days a week? Five and two. Like Monday through Friday. I'm doing eight and six next month. Okay. So today is Monday? Yes. Yeah. All right. Let's, let us grab that form and then uh, okay. we'll wait for our supervisor and then you can either stay here or you can go walk the neighborhood, whatever you like. Play. We look through it. All right. Let's go grab that form. We'll be right back with you, Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. I think so. So Chris, it's your house. You can go inside with us if you'd like, or you could stay out here. It doesn't matter to us. It doesn't matter. I mean, free reign, just whatever you got to do. Okay. Like I can show on the decks on the side of the sun. But okay. Cool. All right. Whatever you'd like. How long have you guys been married? So we've been together eight years. Married six this year. Okay. And this is very unusual behavior. Yeah, can Uh, so when you guys come home, do you usually use the front door or the garage door? How do you guys? I usually open the garage door, come in. Okay. She uses front or garage. It just kind of depends. Okay. Is that a ring out there? Oh, that was. No, the doorbell is that a ring? Yeah, like, it, like when it when you got a visitor, it does. And but I don't think the speaker is on to where you hear it. Like by. Okay. My question, I guess, my question for you is, would it show her leaving with the kids? Did you have yeah, any if alerts? Out, if she came out here, yes. Like if Did you have any alerts today with that? Just when her friends were here. Does it only record when the doorbell rings or anytime if someone... If you're like right... Yeah. It should just start the proximity should hit up. Okay. And if you had any, anything on that today? Just her friends. And what time was that? 12.10 and about uh, two uh, minutes afternoon. Okay. But nothing between the time when she got here... This no, morning. like she got here at two. Only thing this that morning. Was, yeah, two 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 o'clock this morning. Okay. Like one forty eight on here, and the only thing that was weird was that the garage door set is left open after I left, and it might have been the sensor, but like my phone doesn't show when it when for it your shuts. alarm. Yeah, it doesn't show if it shuts. And who's no, your alarm through? Vivin. Okay. But the Nikki, her friend that was that came here about twelve ten, she said the garage door was shut when she got here. Okay. So that was the only thing that was weird. All right. Were you going to hang out out oh, there, or you want to come in here? Okay. Where's the person? On the camera. I'm still recording, so. Yep.
Whose phone is that? I believe that is his. Uh, Bomb over to hers. Is that a diary or what is that? It's for work, I believe. I was thinking it was possibly a diary, but it's talking about. I like motivation stuff. How did you say the kids were? This is very neat for having two little kids. Who's got asthma? I don't know. Kids need medication too, and apparently they didn't. She didn't take their medication either. Celeste, this is all their medication. Yeah, the Celeste, kid. the kid. Mm-hmm. That's albuterol for a nebulizer. Thing for an inhaler. Yeah. We already out here. Nothing in the car. Dispatch Frederick 988. Can you log 528 Zebra John Victor?
They are really organized people. But everything's like super organized. They are gone? Yep. Car seats are in the car. Keys are in the ignite or on the center council of the car. For cash, all her ID, everything's still here. Phones here.
See if that one's unlocked. Yeah, press that thing and see how long it takes. So she doesn't have any family or anyone around here? Neither of us do. They're all back in North Carolina. We moved here back in 2012. Came out here to visit some friends during Thanksgiving, fell in love with the place, moved out here a few months later. Does she have any friends around here? Just fr friends? Yeah. Yeah, she's got I mean, friends in Frederick, Erie, Aurora, that part of Erie, Broomfield. Parker. Have you tried to contact any of them? Oh yeah, we've exhausted every option. I'm just, the last and thing I'm going to do is hospitals. Ho I mean, hotels. That, I mean, there's so many, but... It's and no one's heard from her today? Have you checked your bank accounts? That's what nothing I was going to do, because I don't have access through here. Let's go check those and see if she pulled any cash out, or uh, if there's any strange charges or anything. Okay. Can you log? I can't log in, because she she, she does all the finances. Okay. So I, d I know her password. I just don't have her use it ready. I'm not sure what she would have used that way. Sorry, my phone's just blowing up right now. No, you're fine. Um, who do you guys bank through? USAA and Chase. Can you call them and see if yep. there's been any activity? Any withdrawals or anything? And then the suitcases that she came home this morning with, which ones were those? Was that, was that the black one? one that's sitting right there. Not the one in the bedroom? Mm mm. That was from the last trip, we, or from when we just got back a few days ago from North Carolina. She went to Arizona like two days later. That was when we just got put back down in the in the basement. You guys don't have any stockpiles of cash or anything in the house that she, she would have had if she needed cash. She needed to go to the bank to get it. If there is, I would not know about it. I mean, if there was, I didn't know. Do you know how much cash she usually carries with her? It's usually not made like a hundred. Your current signal's on. It's been on. You might have to turn in here. Dispatch, Frederick 988. Can you log Queen Frank Tom 682? Is this the truck you always drive? Yeah, you can go in the house, yeah. Well, I don't know, there's no computer in it, so I don't know how, how the GPS, so if it's computer... Do you have a passport? Yeah, I'm not sure what that is. I'm not sure she keeps that one. Okay. 
kids have passports? Well, no. They're, they're old enough. How old are they? Four and three. Yeah, they're old enough. Oh, they're older. No, they haven't traveled anywhere out of the country. So. Yeah, they have a passport for all of them. Oh, okay. So that taxi cab service, did you guys use anything like that? For uh, you? That might be Uber. And if you look through here and see if all of her cards are here? He doesn't know how many she has. I don't know how many she has. She has different ones than me as far as credit cards go. I think we have the same debit cards, the same account, but like... These are, these are your debit cards? Yeah, those are the same, yep, same account. Your kids have like a favorite pair of shoes that they really normally wear. Favorite pair of shoes? Yeah. No, they have they have all their shoes are in the closet right here. They, they Do you know, know which ones they normally wear? Like, it's like a flavor of the month thing, honestly. Like whatever they want to wear, they say I say pick your shoes and go through them. Bella's on this side, CC's on that side. Sure. Do your kids take any medication? TC takes Singular and Amepazole. How often? Singular is every night for allergies and Amepazole for the kind of for like the acid reflux. Is one of them on inhalers? They they haven't done it since they got back. I, don't, I think it might have ran out because the last one I saw it had zero on it, so we hadn't refilled that one yet. From North Carolina? Yep. And when did you guys get back? I think it was, so it would be, I went back to work on the 8th, so we got back on the 7th. Okay. And then she left for Arizona on Friday and got back last night. And she had the kids with her last night? Yes. Or you had the kids? Oh, I had the kids, like all weekend. Okay. Yeah. They went to a birthday party yesterday over at the friend's house down the street. And then, is someone sleeping in the basement? I did a few times the separation thing. I just sorry. How how recently? Probably about two nights ago, three nights. Well, when she was here, so by last time <coughs> Thursday, Thursday night, Friday. Okay. And then your kids? Do they sleep in their own bed yeah, or do they sleep, sleep with you those, guys? Those two adjacent rooms. They connect to that bathroom. You're lucky. <laughs> I'm not very lucky right now. <laughs> and sheets and stuff are off in the master bedroom. I uh, know they. Uh, so like when she she got back from the airport last night, usually like she just she just jumps in the bed. So like most of the time when she does that, she'll want to wash the sheets the next day to get the airport off of them since she was, just came off the airport. Okay. That's the only thing I can think of. Was she? They were still on it when oh, she yeah, was in bed. Oh yeah, in bed. Yeah. <coughs> so you were in that bed last night? Yeah. I was up there because the monitor and stuff was up there. I was waiting for her to get back home. And then she works from home. Is that right? Yes, direct sales. So her, yeah, she works from phone, and anything, the computer. Talk, and then is that the things. office she uses for work? Oh, she she can do anywhere in here. She can be on the couch. And do oh, okay. She doesn't have like a designated area. No. All right. She can go anywhere. And you can't think of anywhere she'd want to go. She uh, go for walks around here. No, I go for runs. She goes. She doesn't. Will they go for do anything as far as go for walks or anything? And you've talked to all the friends you guys have around the area? Mm -hmm. <coughs> and what was the conversation this morning you guys had? It was about the selling the house and the separation. And how'd she take that? We were both pretty emotional. I was both crying. And then did you see her before you went to work? Did mm -hmm. you say anything to her? Well, she went back, like, when she told me she was going to go to her friend's house and be with the kids, take the kids with her. Oh, she told you she was taking the kids to yeah. her friend's house? Yeah. She didn't say who, though? Oh, no, no. No, but she was still in bed when that happened. And this was after the conversation? Yeah, it was between, like, 4 or 5 a.m. I woke up about 4 o'clock. What time did she get home? 
148. So did you get to sleep for a little while and then? Oh yeah, yeah, I was passed out when she got home. And then did you wake her up? Yeah, when I got up. And that's when you discussed yeah. the yeah, issue? Yeah, I, I, I didn't want to do it like over a text or over a phone call. I wanted to be face to face with it. How long did that conversation last? Probably like 30, 45 minutes. And then you went to work? Mm -hmm. I went. To, I left about 5.15, 5.30 right in that time frame. And then she said she was going to her friend's house with kids. But she was still here when I left. You went to a job site or you went to the main plant or where'd you go? I went to location first. Where was that? By, by Hudson, over there, east of Hudson. And there was someone there at the time when you got there? No, no. Uh, one of the operators, he had an issue there on Friday, about to run over the weekend. I went over there just to kind of verify what kind of issue with he, he was having, see if I could fix it. Then we went to a pumping unit across the across the ranch over there. Over there most of the day, that's when I got the phone calls and text messages and came home. Are you guys on like Canada 49? Where are you guys at? Oh, like, you know where like Rockin' is? Yep. Yeah, out there. Who's your entry on? Survey. Okay, I know where that's at. So what kind of tools did you have to load up in the garage? It was just mainly my, I got my water bottles, and my water jug, my computer, book bags, I had my containers full of just uh, my O-rings, all that stuff, just putting it all in there because I took it out a lot. Do you load it up every day? I'll just like on the Monday, like after I get all that stuff because I had an issue where somebody stole all my tools out of my truck. My pipe wrenches are gone, my socket set's gone, my... What else? My wrench set's gone. Like we had an issue. I, that's why I parked my truck in front of the neighbor's house that for like a few days, just to see if like I could see if anybody was breaking it. Try to break it into my truck again. It was my fault. I left it unlocked. So as far as the toolbox is on the back. So on the weekend you download your stuff. Everything out. Mhm. Mm and then on Monday you load it. Oh yeah, I just put it all back in. Just okay. to kind of get everything out of my truck, clean it out a little bit from the whole week. Okay. Cause it gets filthy. How long you guys lived here since 2012 or a different house? No, like so 2012 we moved here, lived in a friend's basement in Broomfield. Okay. And we had we closed on this house. It was built 2013 in May, and that's when we moved in there. Okay. Does she have any other friends in this neighborhood? Not. I mean, we haven't talked to many people around here, honestly. It's mostly in Erie yeah, in Broomfield. Erie, Broomfield, Frederick. Uh, Where at in Frederick? Do you know? So we had, like, they just lived up here in Frederick Way. They actually just moved down to Thornton, Nick and Amanda Thayer. Okay. Uh, Nikki, she lives up, the one that was here, she lives in Frederick. The one that dropped her off? Yep. Okay. Yeah, she lives, like, uh, over there building that new stoplight, that, that bridge over there. Right. Okay. Right. And you have no, no idea of what friend? So all your friends pretty much have kids the same age? Mm-hmm. So it's hard to. It's really hard. I mean, we've exha I've exhausted every option I know of as far as friends goes. Like Nikki know, knew more of them because of the woman, and that's about, as, that's about as far as we could go as far as all the friends that we could think of. All right. So if you talk to some of her friends, um, tell them that we're looking for her, and we just need to make sure that she's okay, and uh, she can call us. She doesn't have to call you. Um, that if that's what she's worried about, about, you know, you're trying to get a hold of her and she don't want to talk to you, so have them refer her to us if they know where she's at. Okay. She's saying. Just so we, whatever's going on between you guys, that's between you guys, and she doesn't want to talk to you, that's fine. We just don't want to waste resources looking for her if she's actually okay. So, like, okay. if you can relay to the friends, hey, I understand she doesn't want to talk to us, at least have her call the police so that they know she's okay. Okay. Type deal, if right. that makes sense. Yeah. Um, that way that... We know that she's okay, and whatever's going on between you guys, you guys can kind of figure that out. Okay. Type deal. Um, do you have any questions for us before we get out of here? Mm -hmm. I mean, call area hospitals, call hotels. That's about. I mean. Someone said she was diabetic. She had her friend Cassie in Arizona. She's a nurse, and she knows she had low blood sugar when she was down there. That's that's why I brought that up. Oh, okay. She never had seizures or blacked out or anything. Yeah. It was just like. That was a long, long time ago before I even met her. She had a horrific car accident. They think she might have blacked out or had a seizure. They just couldn't really figure it out. Like she just had a car accident. She just flew out of the car.
And you have his contact info? Yeah. I, think, or I think the detective did. Yeah, they went on. Okay. And if you hear, uh, did you get a card or anything? From the detective, yes. Okay. So there's a dispatch number on there? Okay. If you hear anything from her, uh, call that number and let us know. And it'll just go straight to our dispatch, and then an officer will call you right back. Okay. Uh, that way, our, our main concern is to make sure she's okay and the kids are okay. So um, if you hear a peep from her, just call us. And we'll call you or leave us a contact number to reach her so we can talk to her. Okay. What's deal. your date of birth? 51695. What's that? 51695. 85? Yes. What's the phone number for you? Right. Do you want my card or anything? I'll, I'll take it. Okay. And I'll just underline that number. Call that number, so I will answer that phone 24 7. Okay. So, Sweet. and then just leave your contact info and an officer will call you right back. Okay. Awesome. Thank you. All right, thank you. Thank you. <laughs>